All over here at St Albans City with Chippenham debutante today, Craig Fasson. Made Craig. It's taken a little while to get it over the line, but you're finally here and uh, good to get some good minutes in you today. Absolutely. Yeah, I'm glad to have got it over the line and, and be involved with the team now. It's uh, a side that looked like we're going in the right direction and something I really want to be a part of, so I'm looking forward to it. So obviously, Craig, we've seen you before, uh, most notably for the for the Chippenham diehard. We saw you put one in the top bins for Hungerford <laughs> against us a few years ago in a, yeah. in a 3-0 win. <laughs> obviously, back now on the right uh, on the right side of the blue shirts and uh, yeah. obviously looking forward to getting going. No, nah, absolutely. Yeah, that was... Uh, I remember that game, but I hope from now on I'll be putting a few in the back of the net for, for the Bluebirds. So. so a couple of the guys obviously that may not necessarily know uh, too much about you, Craig. You started obviously with uh, Reading, I believe, coming through their academy onto Oxford. Mm -hmm. Played a small bit part for Hungerford and then got the move to the National League. Uh, played a bit of time with Wilton and then obviously yeah. we've recently signed you from Hemel. But um, you know, you've been keeping in and around the game at this level for quite a while now. Yeah, no, it's a, it's a level which I'm quite familiar with and I'm hoping that I can come and prove myself again at Chippenham and obviously help the team do something, something good this year. Nearly got yourself in there with your debut ah. goal, nicked it under Johnson and it looked for all intents and purposes as if uh, it was going to run through the back of his legs. Bit of a shout just before that, Faz, that there might have been a bit of handle down outside the box. Jordan seemed absolutely incensed. Yeah. Did you get a good view on that or were you just too I was, busy? I was obviously too focused on chasing the ball down, but I think I've not watched it back here or anything, but I feel like there might have been a shout for a penalty somewhere in there, whether it was handball or, or a grab leg or something. I think we could have we could have definitely got something for that. But. And in the end, Faz, we've made a bit of a, a bit of a habit of this this season, going mm. late and getting late goals and late equalisers. Um, it must have been good, obviously, coming off the bench like that to be part of celebrations towards the end. Oh, certainly, yeah. with a lot of supporters that have come down today from Chippenham to celebrate with you. Great way to mark Absolutely, you, yeah. No, it was, it was brilliant to see so many Chippenham supporters in the stands, and that it speaks to the character of the team that. I've been told this is not the first time we've got an equaliser in the, in the last few minutes. So we, we keep going and I think that's something that will continue throughout this season. So Good stuff. And you, uh, you rocked off the back with 10 on your back there, Faz. Um, is that really your sort of position, mate? Or are you sort of, you know, we've seen you sort of play off the right-hand side at Hungerford. Mm. We saw you deployed slightly through the middle uh, at Wilton. Um, yeah. Would we say out-and-out out striker or can you play anywhere across that front three? I'm mate? comfortable anywhere across the front three. I, mean, I was quite happy out there in, in the position I played today and I'm hoping the 10 will stay on my back for a little bit longer. <laughs> so do we. <laughs> well, Faz, well done on your move to Chippenham, mate. Well done on your debut today and we hope to see many more uh, bright moments from yourself over the next Cheers. couple of months, mate. Well done, you. Thanks, fellas. Take care. Super. Join here at St Owen City with Chippenham hero today, Will King. Uh, well, enough plaudits have been thrown about uh, alongside you and your academy graduates. It was obviously normally Kane who's, uh, who's notching the goals, Noah who's uh, popped a couple in towards the back end of last season. But today it was your turn to get on the score sheet, your mm. turn to be the hero, your turn to run into the crowd. Yes, yeah, it's, it's not often I score, but when I do, they're usually not bad goals every now and then. But um, yeah, nah, it's great to get the, the point as well for the team. Difficult day for you today, Kinga. Uh, left back is never an easy place to play when you come to St Albans. Mm. Tricky wingers down the right hand side. Jeff has been an absolute pest in the air. What goes through your mind when you're coming away as a young lad here, knowing that you're going to be in for a tricky game on the defensive side of things? Is that just all preparation or is that just <laughs> hoping I just, for the best? I just kind of believe, believe that I can be as better as who I'm up against and um, just try in every game just better myself and be better than my opposition. Another 90 minute stint, or 96 minute stint as it were, for you today, Kinger. Um, I suppose we've been through this a couple of times with a lot of the lads now, but having a manager like Gary that um, seems very keen to trust in the lads that are coming through the academy and believing in that process, Joe obviously being a big part of the coaching staff for the first team days, it was almost got to feel like a very natural and easy progression from coming out of 23's football into the first team and you know the last, the last of the bandits to get their goal today, but certainly by, uh, by no means the least important. Yeah, well, I think just all the staff, they just make it really comfortable, really easy for us all to settle in just play our football and just makes it really easier yeah. super well well i'm sure you've got a lot of celebrating to do after that one not just the celebrations down in the corner but i suppose the coach ride home now will be a little bit a little yeah. bit more of a happy one a little bit better on it super well we'll, we'll let you get on my mate well do done for today well done on your first goal and we hope to see many more from you coming up soon mate lovely why Cheers, don't you sir. Join here at St Albans with Chippenham Town Man of the Match, Joe Hanks. Joe, another solid 90 minute performance from yourself, mate, and another one which showed real character from the boys to come and get something out of the very tricky game. Yeah, definitely. Um, I think the late goal just shows we, we, get, we never gave up, did we? Uh, and I think we thoroughly de uh, deserved the point, if not all three. So, um, yeah, we're, we're really pleased and that always sort of feels like a win when you get a last minute uh, equaliser away from home. But um, yeah, I thought, I thought we played quite well, especially second half, and I thought we probably could have nicked it. Big talking point was uh, your involvement in what should have been, I believe, and a lot of other people behind the goal believe to be a stonewall penalty. Uh, you're coming down the right hand side, you've uh, put it through the legs of the defender and it looked for all intents and purposes as if your leg was just swiped away as you're about to shoot. We heard the contact, we saw the contact, we saw you hit the floor. 
Um, it almost seemed a given that it was going to be pointing into the spot and the referees waved it away. I know, I couldn't believe it to fail the lads a laugh and I don't think I've ever met someone in the box before. Um, but yeah, no, it was, um, for me it's a stone wall. Um, he, the referee said I initiated contact with him but I'm not sure how I put it through his legs and I'm through one on one with the keeper. So um, frustrating not to, to get that but obviously we got something out of the game in the end. So um, buzzing, uh, really, really happy for King. I thought he played really well today as well. So to get that goal and um, doing uh, the world of good. I think obviously you've had a, quite a lot to say about the young lads coming through, Joe, almost like a, you know, a mentor of, uh, of sorts in the first team for young lads that are coming through. We said to Kinger at the moment ago, he's the last of the bandits to get his goal. Obviously Noah got his at Hungerford last year. Kane has been doing what he's been doing this season and now Kinger popping up right at the last with a, with a really vital strike. Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, the, the, the three of them especially have been absolutely brilliant since they've come in. Um, there's been a, a number of academy lads that have trained with us throughout the season, last year and this season. So it's really good to see, the, um, to see it paying off. And obviously for them to be playing consistently like they have been, has been really, really good. And there's so much competition for places throughout the squad. Um, we brought Faz in today. Again, he'd come on. I thought we'd done really well. It's just something a little bit different. So, um, yeah, we, we're a really, really good group. Um, all the lads uh, buy into it, um, and including those like, the younger lads that have come in and, and done really well. We spoke to yourself last year quite a lot, Joe, as a, as a senior member of the side. We said about you know, the character within the squad for last season certainly seems to have uh, carried on uh, into this year. A lot of the conversations last year were chipping them going under the radar and in the end we put together a hell of a run to get into that playoff, uh, playoff berth. You know, I don't think we're getting too far ahead of ourselves, but when we come away to difficult places like St Albans and a lot of the, the late equalisers and late winners today, of course, included within that, it's got to be the sign of a really good side that have got their own aspirations of doing quite well when not necessarily coming away from home to tricky places like this and never digging, you know, never giving in, digging in right to the last and popping up with those uh, last minute goals. It's not an accident. No, definitely. Um, you know, I think it, it always helps when you sort of have a, the core of the squad that have been together for quite a number of years now. Um, I know we, we all get on really, really well with each other and it's a really, really good group. Um, I know it's, it, I, you might not believe me, but there's no bad eggs in, in the squad and we all get on really well. And um, yeah, it's shown on the pitch as well. So um, to get obviously a, a good point away from home today, we've got to sort of continue that now. I think last season we were always up in and around it and we just got to try and maintain that. And then you never know, do you? You put on a really good run near the end and we snuck in last year and gave, gave people a run for their money. So we'll try and do that again. Coach Trip Home normally seems more of a vibrant place after getting a positive result, and I'm sure this is going to be viewed as one. Uh, what's, the, what's the coach preparation uh, when you're going? Are you going back now? Are you going to get on the bus, have a little sing song, play some tunes, have a few beers, or um, is it going to be uh, like last week when Spence posted up on his Instagram that you two are doing crunches and press ups in the, uh, in the uh, alleyway between the two of you? Spence and I are doing this uh, little challenge, 75 days, so we, we certainly won't be. We're, fit, I think, 30 days into it now. But um, yeah, no, it'd be, it'd be good, good on the bus. I think we've got Faz, obviously, a new singer, so we'll get him singing, and we can't get. We can't get the mic off Sharples, um, so you'll have to ask him about she bangs because uh, he, he loves it. But, um, but look, like I said, it's, uh, it'd be a good atmosphere on the bus on the way home. And look, we've got a week now, haven't we? You've got the FA Cup coming up next week, so massive for, for the players, the, the fans, and, and the club. So um, we really look forward to that. And um, yeah, we'll go again next week and hopefully do, uh, do the job. Super. Well, Joe, today it's a man of the match performance from yourself, young man, and I think a very well deserved one. A little bit unfortunate not to claim the penalty there, which I'm sure you'd have stuck away. I think you would have had your name on that as well. But you know, a one all draw away at St Albans is by no means a bad result. Go and get yourself on that coach and enjoy your crunches. Mate. Cheers, mate. Well See you done, later. buddy.